Hello, are you using a ThinkPad laptop and you're continually bringing it back and forth from home to work? Well, you probably need a docking station. We've reviewed a StarTech in the past. This time we finally got our hands on a Lenovo branded docking station, which we'll open today and talk about. So the main thing is when you've got a laptop is you don't want to have to unplug and plug monitors, keyboards, mice, ethernet cables, and so forth. So the idea is to have a single cable that when you get to the office or you're going back home, uh, you simply go ahead and plug into the docking station. If you've got the right docking station, it will not only recharge your laptop, but at the same time, it will give you access to multiple monitors, which most of us like and enjoy. Of course, if you're using a smaller, very light portable, for example, or a laptop, um, then the screen is kind of small. So you probably want to have a better uh, setup at home or especially the office as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. First thing you need to understand when you select a docking station is you need to figure out what kind of wattage your existing computer has. And by the way, uh, this Lenovo docking station will work on other brands, not just Lenovo. So if you've got an HP out there or anything else, it will work as well. Uh, take a look at your, basically what came to power your laptop. So if we take a quick look at the unit that I've got here, which is an E14, uh, this came with a 65 watt power supply. So basically that's what I'm looking for. I need a minimum of 65 watts. Of course you can get higher. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We really appreciate that. It helps us out. So let's go ahead and open up the docking station and take a look at what it gives us. Now, what you'll find is there's a couple of small uh, documents in here. There's also a poster size, which explains to you how to plug in basically the screens and all the rest. So again, the idea is that most people will want to have multiple screens. Now this is a, it's a ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 dock Gen 2, uh, 130 watt. So as the name suggests, this will provide you with 130 watts of power to the docking station. And the docking station itself, I mean, it's relatively small and that's the whole point. The rest in here, the rest is basically just a USB-C to USB-C cable. That's all that you get with it. So the docking station, let's go ahead and take a look at it because that's obviously why we're here. And it's relatively heavy, which is good because you want something that won't just fly off. If you get something that's very inexpensive, not to say cheap, but uh, some of the, the purely uh, no name brands, for example, are very light. And when you put cables in, they tend to move around if you move your laptop. Uh, this is fairly heavy, so it should stay. Um, let's take a quick look right from the front. I mean, what I, one of the things that I do like about the Lenovo docking stations is they provide you with a power button. So you plug all this in, press the power, turns on the laptop. I think it's a great feature. Now, on the front end, what you've got is an audio jack, a USB, so that's a 3.1, and this is the continually on USB, and you've got the uh, Thunderbolt so that will connect to the laptop. Now there's nothing on the side, so I just said that, but that's basically to lock it. And the other side has nothing. Underneath is just red for some reason. Now in the back is where you'll find all of the features and there's a lot of features to be talked about. So what you'll notice is there's two sets of video here. So you have your choice of display ports and these are uh, basically 1.4 and you've got HDMI 2.0 on the bottom. So the idea is that you'd have two screens. I would highly suggest just going with the uh, display ports if you can. Uh, the rest you'll see there's lots of USB ports. So there's two here, there's two here. And um, so what you've got is you've got your power that comes in and you've got your USB-C here. So the USB-C actually, there's a little picture of the laptop right there. So if you wanna power your laptop, you're actually connecting it here. There's another, there's another, uh, the, so the 130 watt goes in here. So other features include gigabit ethernet. So if you've got yourself a wired uh, connection at work or at home or both, then you go ahead and plug that in. Now, some of the more detailed versions, some of you, if you're running um, network and so forth at work, for example, might be interested in more advanced features. What I mean by that is things like PXE boot, 
the other thing also that you'll notice is uh, it has wake on LAN. So if the laptop is asleep and you need to remotely get into it to do maintenance for perhaps to do uh, patch uh, the, the operating system and so forth, you could wake it up uh, using what they call a, a magic packet. Look that up if you don't know what that is. Um, so anyway, th there's various uh, features like that. The other thing is it has something called a MAC address pass through. What that will provide you if you've got a ThinkPad uh, specifically um, is that you'll see the MAC address of the laptop as opposed to of the docking station. So again, if you're using security internally and you're blocking things for specific MAC addresses, that's a useful feature for you. So at the end of the day, um, you want a docking station that is reliable, that is easy to configure. This is literally, you plug it in, you plug in your, so you have a single wire to plug in when you get to the office or back at home and you're ready to work. So the whole point is no more unplugging a whole bunch of different cables. So I hope this was useful to you. Uh, please leave us some comments below. We love seeing those. And if you've compared the two, perhaps you've tried the, uh, the StarTech uh, products versus the Lenovo products or other products, give us a note below. We'd like to hear from you. And of course, you can always visit us at www.ctobob.com. I'm Bob Peller and CTO Bob. And uh, thanks for watching. We always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.